All right, we're time to ask questions. Let's see what we've got here. Mm. All right, Marta, Let's see. Question. I found my guy a month ago and I'm surprised how many triggers are coming to the surface. Are you experiencing that in your new relationship? Actually, I had an interesting trigger today. What happened? Uh, God, what happened? There was something when I was getting out of the car. It was a simple thing. I can't remember what it was. So I'm going to say to you, I'm going to answer the question this way. I don't think I've ever felt connection like this before. I, I really, I know for a fact, I've never felt connection like this before. I've never experienced um, a relationship where I really just, I, I just dig this person. I mean, my, my, I just want to pour my heart out in this person. And, and more importantly is I can feel it from her. And I will say recently I got scared because my, so there's a picture of my mom and dad and, um, my mom did her best to be a good mom and she was a very loving mom. And at the same time, she had a capacity to give love and pull it away and give love and pull it away and give love and pull it away. I mean, literally, I, I want you to imagine this growing up as a child, habitually having love taken away, given love taken away. And after a while, I didn't realize I couldn't trust love. So here I'm experiencing someone who's absolutely pouring her heart to me in this kind, loving way, not so much in her words, it's just her presence and her words, but this, there's just this energetic presence and it freaked me out because for a moment, I was afraid she'll pull it away just like my mom did. And, and I shared that with her. And those are uncomfortable things to share. And I, I'm not suggesting it was a trigger per se. It was a trigger in the sense of, you know, we often, many of us have experienced the same thing. And what I appreciate most is we've already began a relationship of radical honesty. We began a relationship of laying our cards on the table. That's one of the benefits of long distance relationship. Now, in our particular case, we are spending a significant amount of time together because we, we're blessed. We have a flexible lifestyle with one another. Um, our dynamic fits really well together. But coming back to your question about trigger, yeah, I've had multiple triggers. And you know what? I've shared it with her. So here's what I invite you to do. When you get triggered with a man, share the trigger with your guy. Share what's coming up for you. Now, more importantly, it's best if you know where the trigger began. Like in my case, I've done fucking a shitload. I mean, listen, if you haven't done the Hoffman process, check out the book, The Hoffman Process. This is a deep dive into healing your mom and dad shit, okay? And I've spent, I've spent a lot of hours finding out where all my triggers began. And so when I could share it with her, it wasn't pointing the finger at her, not that there was anything to point, by the way. I'm just sharing what came up. So here's an opportunity. When you share from a heart center place with a man, it's actually an invitation for deeper intimacy. What is intimacy? Into me you see. And if you want that deeper connection, it's going to require opening up. And men aren't really good at this. I just happen to practice this shit. Okay? I'm a unicorn in that way. And there are plenty of men who are absolutely capable of leaning into their emotions and their feelings. I mean this sincerely. Most men are good guys. They just need a little help along the way. Now, is it going to work on every man? No. But you certainly start with somebody. That's my invitation for you. Thank you so much for that question. I really appreciate it right now. Cecilia says, this is a great video, Jonathan. I'm adding it to my playlist. Thank you so much. I'm hoping, I'm hoping I've inspired you to shift the narrative because most guys, they deeply want to open up to emotional intimacy. They want their little kid loved. It's hard for us to do it on our own. 
And that's why I invite you to read these books, to do the work, try some of the examples I shared here in the beginning of this video, because you might be surprised. You might have a diamond in the rough right now. And all it takes is a little bit of squeezing, if you will. That's how a diamond is made. And who knows, you might find that you have a great guy with, your, with you right now, or you can be prepared now for when you do meet a great guy to actually live a more empowered, joyful, happy relationship with someone. And that's my invitation for everyone. All right, folks, I think this will be a great place to wrap up this video. Again, don't forget to purchase the Super Sticker Super Chat or Super Thanks if you are, appreciate this video and it had value for you. Don't forget that's for the Connor Asley Scholarship Fund. And I'm going to wrap up this video as I always do. First off, giving myself a big, gigantic Jonathan Barrog of self-love. I'm going to reach into the camera. Oh, my God, you saw my pit stains. Reach into the camera and give, my, give you a big, gigantic hug of love if that's okay. I'm going to ask you to turn to someone, a pet, a teddy bear, a pillow, and give it or them a hug of love because hugs are a great source of love. And let's face it, we could all use more love in our lives. I want to thank Roller Girl.